In this video, we're going to look at uh, the terrain page. And well, right now, we're showing the map page on this uh, sh shot right now. But uh, if I hit page, I go to the terrain page. Now, you can see that the terrain is all in red. Even the towers, you can see the little triangle, uh, look like little tents. And if you look clearly, there's some tents, they look like tents with little flashes on top, that means they're lit uh, towers. Those towers are lit. And the ones without the, uh, once that gets on fire, um, those without are not lit towers. So those are you want to be careful with. Also, you can see on the terrain page, it shows you the, the actual altitude, which is the MSL, um, or as I can say, yeah, and the actual, the height of the tower. So the tower to the southeast of uh, our position is 216 feet tall in altitude. Underneath that, in parentheses, it shows it's actually 203 feet. So from the ground to the top of it, it's 203 feet. But with the elevation added, it brings it up to 216 feet. Now, you can see everything's in red. So that means that we're within 100 feet of the ground or obstacle. So I'm going to show you really quickly. Since we're in sim mode, I can actually raise the airplane up in altitude. So I'm going to go next page. I'm going to hit the out button, and this is going to increase my altitude. You see, we're climbing, climbing, climbing. I'm going to put it about 800. Let me go back a page. So I hit the quit button. It takes me back a page. Everything's in black now. Um, I'll zoom out, and now those towers that were in red are in yellow. And those are towers within 500 feet, but I prefer to have them in a thousand feet. So what I'm going to do to change that parameter, I hit menu once, and then I go set up terrain, hit enter, and as you can see, it says caution air, uh, caution elevation is 500 feet. But I want to change that to a thousand. I like to be extra safe. So. I can go up to a thousand, and now anything within a thousand of the elevation or obstacle will now show up. As you can see ahead, also the next menu option is look ahead time. That's 120 seconds. So depending on your speed, it's going to alert you 120 seconds before. That. That's two minutes prior to any possible we, we don't want to say collision. Uh, be it with a tower or terrain. So 120 is the default, and I would always leave it at 120. It gives me two minutes to worry about. It'll show up. That way, it's a, it's, it shows up in yellow, so it's a caution. So I can make uh, a better judgment of action, what I'm going to do, climb, or turn left or right. Um, and I, now everything else is set to high sensitivity, which is drive, terrain alert, obstacle alert, and descent rate. And descent rate, uh, if you're descending fast and you have this hooked up to your audio panel in the airplane or to your headset, you'll actually say um, um, descent, you know, dive. It'll, it'll say mention to that. And I'm going to quit. And now you can see that I have objects at a thousand feet. That means the terrain is also within a thousand feet. So I'm within a thousand feet of the terrain, but I'm going to go even higher. So again, I go to my panel page, I'm in simulation mode. I'm gonna take it up to 2,000 feet. Oh, actually 2,500, oh, I'm going past that. Uh, let's go nice gentle 4,000 feet. Now if I go back to that screen, I hit quit. I have nothing that's within 1,000 feet of me or 100 feet of me. I could zoom out as far as 50 miles and there's really nothing out here because we're in the state of Florida and the lower half of it is pretty flat. Um, you do have your mountains, but they're landfills. Uh, but uh, as you can see, there's nothing out there. Now, I'll go back and bring it back down. And I'm descending fast. Actually, let me bring up the sound of it uh, saying that. Oh no, it's already set. So. I'm going to descend quickly again. 1200. All right. 
Now I'm getting spurts of yellow, as you can see out there, to the north. I'm going to go and bring it down further. And now I'm back into the yellow, well, I'm going to fill a thousand feet of the, of the ground. And that's really the, the features of the terrain page. Um, also consult your manual if there's any other thing you could think of. Or email us at tropicarol.com and we will respond to your emails. And thanks for watching uh, our presentation on the terrain page.